Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video we're going to be covering a WordPress plugin called WordPress Real Media Library, where the bulk of this plugin does take place on the media page. If you look at what's going on on my screen right now, uh, you'll notice that some of the things are a little bit different than what you expect. Namely, we go over here and you can see this whole section called folders. We have the ability to create folders inside of WordPress and collections. So. Uh, a folder can contain any kind of file, but cannot contain image galleries, while a collection can contain image galleries, and then you would put images into those image galleries. Now, a folder can also contain images, as well as any other file, uh, but the advantage to using galleries is that you can put them in a grid that the plugin fully supports on its own into your WordPress posts individually. Let's demonstrate creating a new folder real quick here. I'm going to have all files selected to make sure that this folder is created at the media root. So create a new folder and we'll put one for the front page. So front page items would be an okay name for that. And now what we can do is organize our items that we have in our media library to this. So anything that's specifically going to go on the front page and nowhere else on the website you might want to include over here. So for now, I'm just gonna drag this item over to front page item, and you can see that when you select an item from your media library, it'll immediately show where you're able to drop it. And images can go into either folders or galleries, but not collections. Collections only hold groups of galleries. So I'll put that in front page items, and then that's just gonna be organization. But if we want to actually create a gallery, maybe this would be uh, header images or something like that. I would create a collection under that. Header items. And we'll create a gallery called group one. So obviously you can come up with a much better system for how you would want to organize your folders here. But uh, I'm going to create that gallery here. We're gonna make it a visual grid that we can display on a post in our website. So I'll just drag these three items over here for now. Uh, let's actually make it five so that we can see exactly what we're working with. So here we're going to add in that gallery into one of our new posts by going to this new icon called Gallery from Media Folder. It adds in a short code using the plugin. We can select the folder from any of our created galleries. Notice only galleries. We can't use front page items, even though there's a, a, an image technically in it. Uh, if we want a gallery, it does need to be an actual gallery. So group one, we'll leave it at three columns, maybe random order. You can set the image size down here and set what each of the files will link to. I'll default that to attachment file. And now we'll go ahead and hit preview over here pop up a new page on our website and we can see the gallery down here one two three and when you hit the right button or the left button it'll start cycling through the images so if we click on the individual items inside of our gallery display it's going to bring them up here in an expanded view you also notice this magnifying glass here if you click on that it's going to give you a light box for the image and you can also use that light box to navigate to the right and see all of the images in pretty much their full size. So ultimately what you're getting out of WordPress Real Media Library is first, uh, folder organization for your files. Default in WordPress, you have no organization and if you upload an enormous amount of files, you can use the search to uh, go through them if you know what file name you're looking for or what description you're looking for. Um, but using WordPress Real Media Library, you can just have a natural organization to them in the same way you would organize the documents on your computer. And beyond that, having the gallery system as a way of displaying your images is a nice enhancement over the default in WordPress. Being able to pop up images with a light box is going to be a big plus if your site heavily relies on visual content. And since there's only a set of about eight controls inside of the media section for this plugin, it should be very easy to use for even new WordPress users. Integrating them into your posts using those buttons in your editor, 
I'll show that one more time over here, easy as can be. And if you're interested, you can check this plugin out on codecanyon.net, get more information. I'll have a link to that in the description for you guys. So for now, I've been Chris. Thanks for taking a look at this WordPress plugin tutorial, and hopefully I'll see you all in my future video content.